Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today we are going with one of our Discord suggestions, so if you're not in the Discord yet, make sure you join it. But here it is, how to make a good lobby slash spawn area for simulators. And uh, I've been avoiding this one for a little bit of time. Like, I was gonna do it yesterday, nah, I, I didn't. But that's because it's very subjective. Um, good to me could be bad to somebody else, so... At the end of the day, it's whatever you like the best and whatever is attracting your players. But I'm going to run over a few little things. We won't be building anything, um, anything too crazy, game specific or anything like that. But mainly, we're just going to be going over what all you should include. So let me bring this up a little bit. This will be our ground. OK, now most lobbies, you're going to have green. Um, let me let me use shamrock instead of bright green. I just feel like feel like a shamrock type of day So you'll have your ground and most of them are like 250 by 250 to 300 by 300 So you'll just go to your size and this also depends on you know how big your map is We're just gonna do 300 by 300 and that's gonna give us this size right here, which is pretty big Definitely big enough for what we need the next thing you have to decide which I'm gonna use pink blocks as like placeholders So these will be our POIs or points of interest. Let me go ahead and make a uh, pink block So next thing you have to decide a lot of simulators have their spawn in the center So you'll spawn here and then you'll have buildings around it And then there will be paths to go out each way for other stuff to do for example You could have a path to king of the hill a dungeon uh, Your portals stuff like that or even a secret egg hiding somewhere on the map so you need to decide if you're gonna have your spawn in the center of it or like in a corner. So like in Vortex Simulator, I put mine in a corner and you kind of work your way out both ways. But in most simulators, it's in the center. So that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna get a cylinder for that though, just to uh, think that'll work better. All right, so I'll just put one about right there and I'm gonna make this uh, linen because that's, uh, that's a decent color. So up next, you're gonna want to figure out where you wanna put your points of interest, leaderboards, eggs, Everything that's the main things to your simulator. So we'll say leaderboards could go somewhere around right here Or you could path out and put them somewhere else But in mine, I definitely put him very close to wherever you spawn at so the leaderboards could go here I put eggs kind of far so like not right on spawn most of the time a little bit of a ways out Just to give players a reason to leave this area. So I'd say eggs could be here of course you need a shop in like every simulator. I usually put those on the opposite side of the eggs. So you can come over here to buy stuff and then you can come over here to go to your eggs. It gives you like, you know, two sides of the map to go to buy things on and two sides to have gameplay. So now that we have our main things in every simulator, pretty much, there's going to be leaderboards, shop and eggs. What else do we need? Do we have a secondary shop for like skills? Maybe we'll just say that. I'd probably put this on this side to kind of block this off and then you're you're spawning here and you kind of look that way and you can see your eggs look this way and you can see your shops I would do something like that do we have a king of the hill yes let's put that somewhere else in a whole different corner of the map so players can explore more of the map you don't want to keep people locked down in one spot or else building all of this is pointless. You could just have a circle and you'd be all right. So now that we have two shops, leaderboards, eggs, and king of the hill, what else could we have? Any other point of interest that would be more game specific, uh, for example, dungeons. In one of my games, I have dungeons right off the spawn because that's just how it worked best for my map. But you could definitely put them like in the other corner as well to give players a uh, reason to travel, something like this. And uh, now a big, a big slapper to a lot of people, the borders guys. Every, not every, almost every simulator game has the same borders, okay? You build a big brick and, and then, you know, you style it in different ways and then you just copy it, move it down a little bit like this and then you duplicate it and you go around your whole map, okay? I personally hate it. I, I don't like it at all. Some people do just because it's very easy. But let me show you the simulator I'm working on right now to give you a better idea of how I plan to start doing it. But it also limits a lot as well. So I've been working on this game right here. It was built by a friend, Threesto. I made the meshes and I just had to remake a few of them yesterday because yeah, I just got to update it a little bit. But check it out. This is very nice. It's not like every other like you're not boxed in it gives a very open world vibe and it makes players want to explore for example if we're spawning in right here we see the shop looking this way vip 
a big locked door over there as well as our gem chest we have our leaderboards a dungeon entrance a shop again like a robux shop and then like a question like if i spawn here what what happens if i go down this path you know so it's open and makes it feel very nice very big even if it's not but this is the spawn zone for my game so i would try my best to stay away from borders like this simply because they're they're not that awesome you could definitely build them in some really cool ways and that saves a lot of the game a lot of times one of my favorite builders on roblox his name is icy dev and he is just ridiculously talented like he i don't even know i feel like the reason he does so good is because his game is like his maps are never done like and i mean that in a good way he always finds something awesome to add to them and they always look incredible but to build your good simulators or at least your simulators if we're doing a border like this all you got to do is that you have your map now and then you want to fill it in so you have your main points of interest and that's something that you're going to need in any game whether that's a simulator an rpg uh a role play game there's always going to be your points of interest where you're expecting a player to go or where a player can go to spend time in the game and actually progress whatever they're they're doing whether that's you know trying to get a new sword or unlock uh, a new job you know whatever whatever your game is you're always going to need your points of interest now that you have everything main laid out start adding some variation in height on your ground nobody does this and it's gonna look kind of weird right now because i'm just using parts to kind of sloppily put things together but add hills like every everywhere really every once in a while change the height of your ground this is gonna make your game just feel better i guess i, I don't really know the right word for it but it'll make your feel your game feel a lot better also, you're going to want to add your props. This is going to be your trees, rocks, grass, mushrooms, fences, any prop you can think of, even if it doesn't match the game at all. That's what Icy Dev does, and I, his maps are so good. They're so good. I aspire to be that good one day. But now we have all of our points of interest and our main build done, we're going to just detail the map until you literally can't detail it anymore. The more different props you have, the better your game is going to look and probably the more interesting it's going to be to play because if we played this let me just scale this up like a building scale this up like a building uh this was our king of the hill so let me do something uh something a little different to to kind of make it look like a king of the hill it'd be something like that these let me try to color everything real quick just to just to kind of get my point across here we're gonna make the hills a little bit darker i forgot what this was already i think a dungeon we're just gonna make both of these uh like a gray all of these border rocks can be brown never do your border like this guys always add some sort of a detail like this is this is very bad <laughs> like this is just trying to trying to rush to show you guys everything you need for a good simulator map also i would avoid making it square at like all costs they'll always look better if they're not exactly square it just feels very set up and the more variation in your borders the better like if you just grab random ones move a couple of them back you know just add a variation, okay, guys? Don't ever do straight like this. It looks really ugly. But now that we have this, as you can see, it's already pretty much a full map. You just need to add trees, grass, all your props. And the more you add, the better it's going to look. But guys, hopefully this kind of uh, layout-ish video to plan out a simulator map helps you guys build better maps. Very hyped to see what you guys create. And uh, also, let's cut. Cut these, okay? Like, if you want to do borders like this, I don't have a problem with it. I'd say cut two sides or like even one and a half sides and then curve the bottom of this. So like make this a union or just make it a mesh and curve it like this so it's not an exact square and then curve your borders as well. So it doesn't look like a box map and it'll look so much better. I guarantee you people have a lot more fun playing the game. Just do something more along the lines of this. And then you can of course put water out here or some other sort of a border that uh, doesn't look like a rock border maybe a forest a tree border it'd have to be pretty dense but you could definitely do it but guys that is gonna wrap up today's video hopefully you did enjoy and if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later